S Open, I think it's the second oldest tournament in the world, if I'm not mistaken. There's a lot of history behind it and a lot of great names on that trophy and it would definitely be nice to, to add that to a collection. To add my name to the South African Open Championship would be unbelievable. It's our national tournament, it's probably the most prestigious tournament to win your home country's tournament. I mean, there's nothing more to say, to be honest. Glendower has been superb the last two years we've been there. I think uh, I've spoken to a few of the boys as well and they said the course is looking great. It's also a very, very good test. I think it's probably one of my better ones on our golf schedule. It's definitely one of those where if you play nicely, it rewards you and then when you're playing badly, it can, it can bite you a little bit. We love hosting the SA Open. This is my fourth SA Open in a row and we're very proud as Glendower to host the SA Open and to draw the, the special players that we have that Ernie has invited and we're grateful that Rory could come out here and a lot of other good players from all over the Europe and, and America and we're very proud to host it in the fourth rated golf course in South Africa, Glendower Golf Course. Ernie calling in the favour with Rory is quite special. I spoke to Rory when we played together at the French Open. He said he was he was going to be there, and that's just added a little bit more to the event. I think having Ernie's playing is is awesome, but to have Rory there, it's adding that different element. I think that the fans are going to love it. They're going to really enjoy it. I, th I think Rory's actually really excited to play. He's, he asked me how Glendower was, and I said it's a really great golf course and it's really fun and the greens are good. So I think he's really really excited to be there. So it's going to be. It's going to be a little bit different to what it has been the last few years, but different in a good way. I can't wait to come back and play in South Africa. It's been a while since I've been there, but Ernie has done a great job in assembling such a great field. Obviously, we're all there to support a great cause in, in Els for Autism as well. So can't wait to see you guys in January and um, looking forward to it. We're just having a fun day here with Avis, uh, just a couple of customers that's going to have a couple of putts with us, so just a nice fun day to, to, uh, to show the Avis customers uh, what we do and Avis is obviously a big sponsor, so yeah, just, just here for that today. We're just enjoying a bit of time with, with the clients, you know, hitting a, hitting a few putts at the, the Avis kiosk. It's good fun just to you know get get interactive with with Avis's clients and you know just a, a thank you to, to Avis for, for sponsoring the tour. As professional golfers, it's it's fantastic to be here today to uh, represent Avis. And Avis obviously helping us on the roads through the year. You know, Avis is a big part of the Sunshine Tour and it's just nice being here. As pros do a lot of traveling throughout the year and, it, it, you know, it's really nice to have a, a car rental company that looks after the players and, and not only the players, the people within the Sunshine Tour. So as the players, you know, we can't thank Avis for everything that they do. I've done a lot of prep just before New Year's and, and Christmas. You now working hard in the gym, working hard on the range and, and trying to get my mental game back to where it was during the Joburg Open last year. It's been a tough couple of months but you know, slowly but surely I'm making progress and uh, you know, hopefully you know, the first good week of the, of the season is SA Open. I would say the biggest adjustment was, was the different climate, uh, the different grasses that, that we play on on the European tour. You grow up playing in South Africa and, and, and playing on Kukuya, which is more, it more comes down to experience, you know, the, the different shots that you've played over time and you know, to then get thrown into the deep end in, in Europe and, and try to learn how to play you know, out of the rough and you know, around the greens is, is not the easiest thing in the world. You know, you can't expect it to, to just come right within, within a year and I think a lot of it is, is to do with experience and, and hopefully, you know, last season prepared me well enough for, for next season. It's a tournament that I only dreamed to play as a kid. To qualify for the Open through the Joburg Open was not just the cherry on, on top of the icing and to then lead after eight holes was, was just an experience I'd never forget. And, you know, a tournament I'd never forget. I thought, you know, on the Monday just before the British Open, I just, Thursday could not come quick enough. And, you know, when Thursday came, it, it was almost, uh, we fast forwarded to Sunday and, and uh, it was over, unfortunately. But, 
Now I still have loads of pictures and, and videos from, from the Open and it was just, you know, it still gives me goosebumps to this day and you know, hopefully this year I can, I can be in, in the mix. The SA Open is always something you know, an aspiring professional golfer would be wanting to win and you, know, you watch all the guys that you know, come up through, through the Sunshine Tour and then obviously compete on the US Tour and in majors. You know, they've pretty much all won the SA Open and you know, it would be a good milestone to reach and, and, and a close goal that I've had to, to my heart and uh, to start off on a good step at, at, at the beginning of the season just like last year would, would be perfect.